Ah yes, the appropriately named Yamaha Banshee. The name Banshee actually comes from an Irish myth of a woman who would scream through the night. Now in the ATV world, the Banshee is easily one of the most iconic sport quads that has ever been made. And in my opinion, I think every moto enthusiast, even if you don't ride quads, should have the chance once in a lifetime to ride a Banshee because they are an absolute blast. Now to understand and really have an appreciation of why this quad is so iconic and why it really has that cult following, well you kind of have to know a little bit about the history of how this quad came to fruition. So let's backtrack just a little bit back to the early 1970s. So around that time, pretty much all your street bikes from manufacturers were two strokes. And around that time, Yamaha came out with their RD350, which was a twin parallel two stroke engine. And that bike became very popular very quickly. Now, later on in the 1970s, some of those manufacturers started to come out with bigger four-stroke engines. And around that time, actually in 1983, as you saw those manufacturers making four-stroke street bikes, Yamaha released their RZ350, which is a twin parallel two-stroke engine. And that was the latest evolution of that RD series. And that RZ350 became very popular, super quick, and it was, it was a monster. It was actually known to be a lot of the newer, larger four-stroke engines of that time. But that's how that twin parallel two-stroke engine started. Now, fast forward to the late 1980s, and you have manufacturers like Honda and Suzuki that are now building single-cylinder two-stroke sport quads. Now, around that time, Yamaha also wanted to get in with the mix, so they actually just said, screw that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take essentially the same motor that we have in this RZ350 that's already so popular, and we're gonna put it into a sport quad chassis. And voila, that is how you now have the Yamaha Banshee. So you've got a twin parallel two-stroke engine stuffed into a quad chassis. And ever since then, just look at that RZ350, this has become an insanely popular quad because of how much power it puts out. Also just a very unique look when you got the two exhaust pipes coming right out of the front. Just a killer looking bike. Now with this bike, this is a 1993, and what's awesome about the Banshee is there's so many aftermarket parts that are easy to find, and really, it doesn't take a lot to modify these. It doesn't cost a lot of money to really open these things up to add even more power to them. You can do suspension changes, you can you know, go to a longer swing arm, you can upgrade those components as well, and that's why you would never expect that in 2006 they actually stopped making these in the United States because of just how many that you see that are out there every time you go to the dunes. So if you have one of these or if you're thinking about getting one, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we're, we're going to be coming out with a lot of great how-to videos as we go along building this thing up. And of course, when the final product is ready, we're going to go out and get, have a nostalgic day at the dunes. We're going to make this thing a banshee queen. We're going to throw everything we can at it to get this thing ready to rip down the dunes and have a good time. So if you like the banshee, make sure to get subscribed to our YouTube channel. If you do have one of these already and if, maybe you have one that's already built, we would like nothing more than for you to comment below, let us know which one you have, what you've done to it, and kind of get that conversation started. If you have any questions about this bike or any questions that we didn't answer today, leave your questions below. We will help get those answered. Just remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and that way you're going to stay up to date on all the videos that we're going to be doing with this Banshee. I'm Chase of Rocky Mountain. We'll see you on the trails.